Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys, welcome back. Quick stout review. Uh, going back to Hill Farmstead. My favorite beers to drink in the entire world. Hill Farmstead's the best brewery. And I'll fight every single one of you. Uh, they make every style of beer absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, for my money, there's not a brewery that's better than them. So, uh, courtesy of my man Jeff. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, this is Damon, and this is, per the bottle, the 2020 vintage. Uh, this is a, it's got like gold writing on a black label with these bright lights, it's hard to see. Uh, Imperial Stout brewed with cocoa nibs and aged in bourbon barrels. Um, and it says the uh, cocoa nibs come from Hacienda Azul in Costa Rica. Um, but it doesn't say, I don't know what the ABV is. There's no ABV on this bottle. It's kind of crazy. Like they tell you um, that this is the 2016 harvest of the chocolate. And they tell you that this has been bottle conditioning since February 5th of 2020, but they don't put the alcohol on it. So I have, I mean, I've ranted about this plenty of times. I don't need to go into that. Put the fucking ABV on the bottle. It's ridiculous. I have no idea what I'm drinking right now. And I got shit to do today. <laughs> so just because I love Hill Farmstead, doesn't mean that they're uh, <laughs> not going to get fucking yelled at by me when it comes to that. So um, I have never had a, have I had a barrel aged stout from them? I don't think so. Some of the porters I've had from them are just amazing. Um, Everett is fire. I can smell that already. Um, and then we had the idols of Twi Twilight of the Idols or whatever it was last year. They're just, they make amazing uh, beer. So into the Hill Farmstead glassware, because you guys know beer tastes better out of proper glassware. Ooh, this is pretty dark, but there is no head on that. Look at that. Um, I will say <laughs> it's been interesting the last uh, couple um, stout reviews. Some of the comments, I feel like some of you guys are getting in your feelings about uh, the stout chugs. It's weird to me. It's just beer. <laughs> That's all it is. It is just beer. Like this is nothing crazy. It's nothing special. It's beer. So um, it's pretty pretty wild that people get upset about it, or not upset, but just I don't know. Make kind of the comments have been interesting. I mean, it is what it is. You guys are allowed to feel how you want to feel, but um, <laughs> if you're taking beer as serious and getting upset that somebody chugs a beer, like I'm probably not the guy you want to hang out with because I don't. Like, I don't know. I just, beer is not on that level for me. It's just beer and I like drinking it and it's fun. So uh, I'm more about the time spent with friends and family sharing beers and drinking them rather than what the actual beer is. Someone could send me a bottle of KBBS and I'd fucking chug it. Like, I just, I don't care. It's just beer. Like I drank SR71 with Nathan. And at this point, I don't remember what that beer tastes like, but I remember hanging out with him in Vegas and how amazing that part of it was. Like, that's what it's about for me. So um, it's just, it's interesting. And I just thought about this since this is a Hill Farmstead barrel aged style, people are gonna probably be pissed, but it is what it is. So uh, it is pitch black in the glass. There is no head. It is really, really, really dark. Um, the little film that's on top is like that kind of that mocha khaki that I really, really like, but yeah. This has to be, I mean, in the 10% range above. I mean, there was no head when we poured that. And I know some of that can be from being aged uh, in barrels and having adjuncts and whatnot, but yeah, there was nothing. So let's shove our fat nose in it. Ooh, smells like booze. <laughs> smells like fucking bourbon. It smells like bourbon and chocolate. Um, and there's a good amount of oakiness to this. But man, this is a boozy, boozy beer. Um, I guess not, that, not to say I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I guess you can't control how boozy a beer smells like when it's aged in bourbon barrels. But um, I feel like Hill Farms is very meticulous about things. And like, I don't know, the aromas of their beers are always like spot on and just the flavors of them. Like this is something, like I said, you can't control it. But this beer smells really fucking boozy to me. But yeah, just think like bourbon soaked brownies like chocolate bourbon um tiny bit of roast but nothing crazy um it just it smells like woody bourbon chocolate so um doesn't smell sweet i mean cocoa nibs aren't sweet it's just it's actual chocolate um so it's not like a sweet kind of pastry thing but that's what it smells like so let's go and taste it jeff cheers appreciate you sir i feel like this is gonna be really fucking boozy
that beer fucking delicious. I cannot believe that it doesn't taste as intensely uh, alcohol forward as it smells. There's plenty of bourbon there, the spirit is there, but man, it is just so much fucking chocolate and tons of barrel character. Um, like I said, oaky, there's a little sweetness, like a vanilla sweetness, um, almost like kind of a coconutty thing. I get that a lot from barrel aged beers. Um, but yeah, that kind of spirit bourbon finish um, lingers like on the sides of your tongue. There's a little bit of bitterness, like a roast um, that almost gives off like a coffee bitterness. Um, but man, that the chocolate, like actual chocolate. Um, I mean, I, I, dark, I don't eat milk chocolate because it's got milk in it. Um, but if you've ever had dark chocolate, like dark chocolate can be bitter. I think that's part of the bitterness that I'm tasting. I mean, it's a fucking fantastic beer. It's just crazy to me, like how boozy it smelled. Um, but it didn't really go over. I, I'm, I'm really curious as to what the ABV on this beer is, because I have no idea. I'm guessing it's above 10%, um, but I, I don't know. Uh, same with this one. Um, not the most viscous beer. It's not super thick and chewy, um, but it works. It's world-class stuff from a world-class brewery. I guess we wouldn't have expected anything else. So um, if you're a fan of chocolatey stouts, I mean, there's nothing like, I don't want to say there's anything mind blowing about this. Like I, it's not, this isn't something like you're going to lose your mind over, but when you drink it, you're like, fuck, that's absolutely delicious. Like you're stoked on having bottles of this. Um, I'm sure there's plenty other barrel aged stouts with other adjuncts that people, you know, lose their mind over more than this one. But this is an absolutely fantastic bourbon barrel aged stout. That's what it is. So we will leave it at that. Jeff, I appreciate you sharing this. This is Damon, the 2020 vintage from Hill Farmstead. Have you guys had it? Let me know what you think. Um, and if you want to talk about the whole chugging stouts thing, let's go ahead and talk about it. It's good times. It'll be fun to see what, you know, other people say. So it's just beer guys. It's just beer. I'm out of here. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.